go to this hardware store. So I'm in the hardware store, and I hear this song playing, and it's so good. I go, what is this song? Do I know this one? And it's like, if you're going to go down, I'm going to go down swing it. And I go, well, that's great. So I, sh I shazam the song. I go, and it's uh, by Thad Cockrell, T-H-A-D, Cockrell. That is the story right there. It's Thad Cockrell has become a chart-topping sensation these past few weeks after catching the attention of who you just saw, Jimmy Fallon, of course, from The Tonight Show. He joins us today to tell us about this inspiring rise to fame. And you're going to get a performance as well from his hit song, Swingin', that Jimmy didn't sing very well there, but later in that clip, he definitely does. When you watch that, Thad, good morning, by the way. Uh, when good you morning. watch that, what goes through your mind? <laughs> <laughs> I still, it's so surreal. I still have such a hard time believing <laughs> the whole story of it. I mean, you, you really, you couldn't, you, you couldn't write it, the, you know, uh, how it happened and all the details, but it definitely lets us know that, that uh, there's, there's a, a helping hand uh, oftentimes that we can't see. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. And you, you know, we were chatting just before we came up here, and I was like, you have one foot out the door, man. What were you planning on doing uh, after giving up on music? Because you were pretty much saying, you know what, I think, I think I'm done with this. You know, pandemic, I'm writing an album. I don't know if it's going to take off, so let me figure something out. Well, I mean, it's been, th this has been so hard on the music community, right? And, you know, it, it's not as if I wanted to quit mm -hmm. doing music. It was literally a matter of practicality. It's like, I don't think things are opening up for us to tour and make a living for, you know, the better part of another year, and it's already been a year. So I was thinking, I, you know, I have my master's in family therapy that I got once upon a time that I've, I've never used. Uh, and then I make hot sauce. Uh, and I've been doing it for 10 years and my friends are like, you should sell this. I'm like, I don't want to sell hot sauce. And and then I started selling it over the pandemic and I'm like, okay, well maybe, maybe this is like the time to, you know, be open. So it was really me just being open of saying, all right, if there's something else, let's, let's explore. And it was a resounding no. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Everybody said, listen, we heard your song. Now you're back in the game. You are, and you're right because people Crazy. don't realize most musicians are touring musicians in the sense that that's where you're going to make your money and getting out to these venues. And with it being shut down, that changes the game. Completely. And it's not just touring musicians. It's, you know, all the studios have been shut down here in Nashville too. So it's all the shut, it's the session players. It's the, it's the people that make everything happen. It's the managers, the engineers. It's, it's, it's really uh, been incredibly difficult. Yeah. And you get a performance on the tonight show, performing that song. Everybody sees it, hears it. The song yeah. goes to the top of the iTunes charts, the album, uh, if in case you feel the same gets in there in the top five as well. Everybody's seeing and hearing that. Uh, it is a great album, you know. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. I'm going to fill my cup. Uh, slow and steady are on there. It's, it's great. I love hearing your work. And, and you have a great sound, too. What's the response been like since that appearance and people are starting to get familiar with you? A, a new audience all the time, right? Yeah, every day, absolutely. It's It's been really overwhelming. Um, and, you know, it, I think the story has meant so much, uh, so much to other people. People have... have have told me their stories and how this has been like, you know, a couple or like they, they had started a business five years ago. It was going really well and they were about to close the doors and they heard Jimmy tell this story and then they heard the song and they simultaneously looked at each other and were like, we're not closing the doors. And, you know, it's just been amazing. And these songs, slow and steady. Uh, you know, I wrote the album for all of us. Um, and in the middle of the album is a mirror and it's if in case you feel the same. So it's about, it's about, holding space for me and then also you but the idea of it when you look at the mirror hopefully you see yourself in this music so and I think know. you do and people hear it with that song with swinging lyrically you know it's it's been a year since things have changed for everybody and everybody's had that you know you know it's like how's it been well it's been a year that's the reaction right uh and I think people can relate to to the track man the album of course is called if in case you feel the same it's available on all music platforms Thad you are kind enough to do a performance for us for your hit song swinging everybody this is Thad Cockrell thank you if I'm gonna go down I want to go down swinging I want to go down hard With all of my heart Yeah, if I'm gonna go down I want to go down swinging I want to go down hard With all of my heart Heaven waits for nothing 
nothing less than giving in to faithfulness. I'll give you time, I'll let it rest, but I'm not down to give up yet. I don't know what I would do if all is lost, if I lost you. I don't know. If I lost you, if I'm going to go down, I want to go down swinging. I want to go down hard with all of my heart. Yeah, if I'm going to go down, I want to go down swinging. I want to go down hard with all of Cockerel, everybody. Yes, Dad Cockerel. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations, man.